Hello everybody, it's the Free Gen with another Vampire Survivors run. And today has been another patch day, so we got a few things here. Let's go through them real quick. The horrible night to have a patch, 0.2.13. New character and a power-up, new content. One new power-up immediately available. I'm gonna showcase it when we start the run. Four new achievements to unlock, one, one for a new character, one for a semi-new character holding a new special weapon, one a new passive weapon, and one extra rank of the reroll power-up. I don't know what the passive weapon is yet. The reroll power-up, I mean, we're gonna showcase all those. So, additionally, fixes and diagnostics for people stuck on the black screen. Tweak, double hollow heart and pomola bonuses. Nice. So, tweak is patches, by the way. Doubled hollow heart and pomola bonuses. That's nice because those were, in my opinion, the worst items anyway. And we use pomola because, you know, uh, super, uh, super garlic. Tweak, uh, default axe passed through one more enemy. I mean, might as well buff that as, um, you know, the axes never were that insane. Tweak, change layout of pause menu and availability of the quit button. Um, okay. I mean, that's so that you don't, by mistake, pause and then quit the game instantly. Tweak Steam achievements synced automatically. I mean, this is just you log in and you get achievements. Tweak the reroll base cost reduced to 5k, so they make the reroll uh, cheaper. I mean, fair enough. Bug fix, empty tone effects, cooldowns immediately. Okay. Bug fix, keep. I mean, this is for most likely the um, pentagram. Keyboard input opening, closing menus too quickly. Yeah, who cares? A late game issue that would occasionally spawn too many enemies off screen. Okay. The deep lore of Vampire Survivors. While we wait for an in-game based theory, I just wanted to make everyone aware that this is not a bacteria or a death of fan, but this is allegedly a lion head. That's important because one of the achievements has you killing lion heads. Cursed power up, a new cursed power up for experienced players and will most likely be tweaked quite a bit compared to others. As new patches come up, if you buy it by accident, please remember that you can refine it at any time. We're going to use this for sure. What's next? Next week, we'll be moving up patch 0.3, containing a new game mechanic and a new stage. We're excited about that. Localization, etc. Linux version, and uh, yeah. We're not going to watch this video as, uh, first of all, copyright, maybe, and secondly, uh, we don't want to spoil ourselves. So uh, let's, um, let's go over it in the game. Now, first of all, the power-up. It's this one, Chris. Increase enemy speed, health, quantity, quantity, and frequency by 10%, max 50%. I have it max, so we should have enemies with 50% more health, which is pretty dangerous, but and speed, which is also extremely dangerous. But we will have more enemies and more frequent enemies, and they don't do more damage. So theoretically, our meta progression should carry us, hopefully. I mean, um, the, the speed might kill us, but... YOLO. YOLO is where, how we do this. And then with achievements for the unlockables, first of all, defeat a total of 3,000 lion heads. The lion heads are the ones that were shown previously. This is retroactively... This works retroactively, so if you already have done this, if you play the game a lot of time, you can just um, enter a match, quit right away, and you will get this instantly. That unlocks uh, Yata Cavallo here, the new character. And then the other three achievements I have not achieved. The one is that to leave 100 with... Uh, to let... to... Ah... Uh, to, to reach level 100 with Yata Cavallo, so that is what we're going to try to do today. Also survive 20 minutes with at least 10 curses, that is also something we're going to try to do today to unlock the next character. And then the last one, survive 30 minutes with Lama, which is then other next character, so uh, we will have to do that tomorrow, most likely. And um, yeah, for the unlockables, this is the weapon of, you know, the new character. Cherry Bomb throws a bouncing projectile, explodes sometimes, best with luck. So we will go full on luck build. The other item that needs luck is obviously the cross here for the Heaven Sword. So in my opinion, we go with um, a Duplicator first of all, because this thing throws a projectile, uh, this thing throws a projectile, and this is also a projectile, so both of those need that. So we would go Duplicator, we'll go Spinach and Attractor, because, you know, that's every single build. Then we go kind of Labrador as this thing explodes. So uh, that would be one, two, three, four. With that, we will go Pomerola because I'm going to go Super Garlic, so that would be the fifth one. And the last one will obviously be Clover, because I won't need the luck. So one, two... As I said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And uh, this is going to be free because I'm going to play the library. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. I don't know what this new item is. We're going to see it. If, if we see it, I'm just going to read it up. And if I decide that it's better than, I guess, spinach? I mean, I will need spinach. I guess, I guess, Candelabrador? I mean, we're going to read it up when we see it. And we're going to decide later if we need it or not in the build. Most likely, Candelabrador is going to drop. So, then the rest of the build is going to be Garlic plus Super Vandalier, uh, Super Birds, because, you know, this is most likely going to be an extremely hard fight. So, that would be one, two. Uh, I will... I might pick up Labora just because I have the Vacuum. So, might go for that. And I will most likely go Laurel to be, say, on the safer side. So, that would be one, two, three, four, 
five, six, most likely. There is a chance. It's, actually, no, six is this. I haven't sorted. So this is one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Yeah, I, I'm mixing up my things here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why? Why? It doesn't matter, man. We're going to see it in the match. We're going to see it in the match. Let's go. Uh, Cavallo here. Let's go Yara Cavallo and let's go to the library because it's very good, I guess. Ooh, leave me alone. Okay, this does not look well, but we get new more opponents. Uh, wasting the reroll already? You know what? Uh, let, let's restart this. Let's restart this. Uh, ju just because this is literally the first item and, you know, it, it, it always feels bad when you try to showcase something very specific. Are you kidding me today? Okay, I'm going to reroll one more time and if this doesn't work, uh, I guess this is it. And now everybody's gonna be like, what? You rerolled? What? Nobody does that on this interval. How are you kidding? Right, we got the cross. Okay, we got the cross. <laughs> I see the opponents are actually moving very quickly. Oh, we're not gonna make this. <laughs> okay, we got the garlic here. So at least that's something. And as you see, this the new item already starts popping once in a while. It's like a bomb. Let's go for Laurel. Maybe it's gonna protect us. <laughs> I like how we're going with the maybes at this point. And uh, honestly, I need to get double birds now. Because if I don't get double birds now, then uh, this build does, does not work anymore. I mean, we're not going to have the super birds, that is. Ragisu, spinach. I'm going to go with spinach here because we will need the damage. Actually, if we get spinach level 5, then having 50% more damage should counteract how much damage these guys get now. And do you see the speed of these things? Track orb, I would say. Because we already have some problems here. I would really like to get the Pomarola early, especially now that it's buffed. And it gives 2 health per second instead of 1 health per second. And at max level it will be giving 0 0.2 by the way. And at max level it should be giving 1 per second up for 0 0.5. And we got Clover and Candelabrador. Let's go with Candelabrador first. As the AoE, AoE is going to help out with pretty much everything. And uh, hopefully we will uh, slowly start. Uh, we will later find the luck too. Maybe I should have gone luck first. Yeah, maybe I should have gone luck first. I don't know. On the one hand, I'm I'm about to run through everything for no reason. Let's go base area up by 25, base speed up by 30, or base damage. Let's go damage. Honestly, I would like to make uh, create a super garlic. If I get a few levels on garlic early, we will get carried a lot. And because opponents spawn more often and spawn more, in general, more opponents, uh, we should start gaining XP a lot faster. Uh, I will continue going spinach for the same reason I just mentioned. And now the cross, oh yeah, and the cross is already one shot opponents now. Previously they did not, now they do. So now we do have the crosses to um, do damage for us. Shirbon and Tractorb, Pentagram, no. Uh, let's go at Tractorb. Maybe I should have gone, yeah, maybe I should have gone Cherry Bomb, yeah. I will not do that same mistake again. If we find the Tractorb and Cherry Bomb again, I'm gonna choose the Cherry Bomb <laughs> next time. And uh, I see same opponents up to the 2 minute mark. Garlic and Pomerola though. We're gonna go for the Pomerola here to get our 6 items. Especially because we need the healing. But Sift, you said you want the garlic. Man, I say a lot of things and I don't always do all of them. Uh, we found the Duplicator here. Nice. We obviously go for the Duplicator giving us 3 of those and also more Cherry Bombs. Okay, so after the initial panic mode, now we are actually very good off. Because now the crosses actually assassinate everything. Man, spinach is insane. I need the double birds for sure. So um, we will not pick anything up until I find birds twice. Which is bad, by the way. As uh, we already have capped out our weapons. And uh, actually finding the double birds is not really that easy. Is what I was about to say the moment that thing dropped. And now imagine if we literally get the next bird right away as a second item. Wait, what was my... I still don't remember what my sixth item would have been. I'm gonna go with Laurel here, obviously, as the rest is not really that good for us at all. What is my sixth item gonna be? Hmm. 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could go with Labora. I'm pretty sure some people might be screaming at their screens right now, remembering what I wanted to go with. I could go Axes, as I do have the kind of Labrador. I'm gonna go Cherry Bomb here. Let's uh, use the new weapon a bit, see how powerful or not this. By the way, I forgot to com I completely forgot to read and mention the passive of this character. Uh, I did read it off screen and for some reason I forgot to mention it here. In case you didn't see, you know, obviously you can go back to the footage and read it. But uh, what this character does is uh, like, like Mortachio, every 20 levels, 
he gains plus one projectile. That's why it's not exactly a new character. It's half a new character, but it's a new weapon. That's what that said. That's what that meant, pretty much. That the character is Mortachio, but the weapon is not the same. Uh, let's continue with the cherry bombs. One more bomb. One more projectile. If you saw, like, the previous level gave us a chance to explode... So that goes towards, you know, the fact that the thing has 50% chance to explode. That, that goes towards the fact that this has a chance to explode. I'm going to avoid everything here. Duplicate, obviously. That was an easy reroll, by the way. If we did not get what we wanted. Do these opponents feel like they're not running fast anymore? I might be wrong. <laughs> might be wrong. Pentagram, whip, we'll go with cherry bomb. Base area up 25% and base damage up by 5. Okay, very decent. Uh, bef uh, obviously, I need to find the black pigeon right now the ebony wings as they're as it's called because if i don't get it i will uh, get locked into a simple pigeon for the rest of the run which is obviously not good we want super pigeon let's pick up the chest just to power up a bit nice we got the pomerola here another 0.2 healing uh, tractor, obviously, as the rest are either weapons or an item that I already want. Now for the items, I'm missing the luck. Wasn't it unlucky that I had the luck as a choice and I didn't pick it? It was stupid, not unlucky. Could have gone with plus luck. It would also give us more items <laughs> to choose from. Ross, level up, spinach level up. I'm gonna go with the spinach level up so that everything does more damage. I would like to find some garlic level ups, maybe, you know, maybe, uh, while not also giving me something new and unique, maybe, just, just, just pointing it out, just, just an idea, just, just spitballing here, you know. Factor of lightning ring, cross, cherry bomb. Uh, 60% chance to explode. Now yeah, let's go with 60% chance to explode. I want to see this thing in action. See the, the, the cherry bomb explode. Nice. Explosions are actually huge. Ebony wings, nice. And I also had garlic there. <laughs> Obviously, it happened. Obviously, we we had the garlic the one time we would never ever pick it. Can I now see another two or three garlics? Nice of another garlic. I would actually like to see the luck now instead of garlics. Is this is this how this map normally goes? I don't remember this map having skeletons, a bunch of skeletons twice, and this thing twice. Is this bugged? Do things last longer than they should? Base area by 25% base speed up by 30%. I'm gonna go with this. I also am bending up the... Oh, the explosions are huge. First of all, I like the projectile being... the, the Not the projectile, the, um, the animation, so to speak, being that explosion. Uh, base area up by 25% base damage up. We're gonna go with garlic, obviously. Obviously, we're gonna go with garlic here. The faster we level up garlic, the better, especially because I would like it to be the first legendary. As far as I know, this new weapon does not have a legendary. Now, I, I might be wrong about that, obviously, but we don't know. And uh, as far as I understand, I have not really unlocked the new item at all. So I don't think we can find it. Because I think the new item found is the thing that you get after you beat level 30 with the other new character, I think. So we will most likely unlock it tomorrow. Let's go Attract Orb, as that will give us more XP than anything. So we're very close to the part where we run to the left. Theoretically run to the left, that is. Let's go with... No, let's go with Cross. 10 damage. Sorry for the mouse here. 10 damage is pretty decent. Yeah, now it's doing 20s. Oh, this is, this is the part where we run to the left. So let's see. Are we actually going to see a bunch more of those? Let's go with Attractor, honestly. Yeah, we will avoid all of them. I feel like I'm moving slower than normal. Oh, I should not have picked up the insta-kill there. Maybe even the fire is a bad idea. Do these opponents give you more XP? Nope. What a bad opponent. Like, this thing definitely needs an overhaul. Like, this... I mean, I'm okay with it because, you know, we're running to the left right now. And it's helping us. By the way, I have been told that it's all not always guaranteed that you will find the book. Man, let's hope that is actually <laughs> not true. Whoa. Frozen. Frozen in time. That's another reason why I maybe should have gone with uh, luck instead of whatever I picked when I had the choice to go with luck. I had the choice to pick. I think the only logical thing that I would have picked instead of luck is this thing, the ring. Or maybe even... 
Pumarola. Was the choice Pumarola ring? I hope I didn't pick Candelabrador over luck. I really hope I didn't. We found the book. Okay, luck doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I mean, we still want it for the explosions to always explode. Because right now you see they're just rolling sometimes. And uh, then they go off. Empty Tome. No, no. Ebony Wings. Ah, Cherry Bomb. Go with 25% more area. And also more base damage. Oh man, this looks very nice. Like, this new weapon looks insanely powerful. I hope it is too. And we're uh, we're almost 3D. Yeah, we're, we're almost 4D level. And at, that we will, at that point, we will get another projectile. That's the plan right now. Garlic. Yeah, we'll go with garlic. Continue the explosions all around. Ziggy zaggy. Up, 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 up. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> I would say Pichon. No, I would say Cross to set up the legendary Cross for later. Legendary Pichon can wait. What will I get as my final weapon? I could get axes, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm most likely gonna get axes for the very last weapon. Oh, did you see those crosses? I guess it's discussion time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Garlic. Let's see what we get. No, I'm not gonna open discussion timer yet. We can wait for the 10-15 minute mark for the discussion time. Let's maybe create the build first. Okay, I see opponents get one shot at this point. So we have already become... We have already overcome the 50% more life on the opponents. Can I get luck? Let's go with Candelabra Door for more range. Can I get plus luck, please? Please, please give me plus luck. Don't force me into waiting here forever until I find it. I mean, I, I, I am forced to do that anyway. Let's go with Cross for the Legendary. Let's hope we first find the Garlic Legendary, though, obviously. That's Ziggy Zaggy. I'm not sure if people care about me talking about random stuff, but uh, la last video that I was talking about random stuff, a bunch of people responded. You know, when I was talking about the wasps, and um, yeah, when I was talking about the wasps, there is no end. <laughs> Let's go with Garlic here. <laughs> Sometimes some com by the way, sometimes some comments are like that I uh, I guess I talk too much. Does that even a clover found it? Yeah. Does that even make sense in a YouTube channel that is supposed to be talking? <laughs> like as a negative? Imagine being Im imagine talking in the video being a negative about in a video that's about talking. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't mean it as a I don't mean it as a cry or anything, or, or like me, me, you know, crying about it. I, I just say it like, that was something weird that I read and I found weird. So I want to just mention it, insta-kill everything. Man, look, this is insane. The game has become 10 times more fun with this. With uh, with 50% uh, more opponents and 50% more opponent spawns. Look at this. Look at this. We are at the 10 minute mark and we already are 50 level. Just because all of these opponents spawn. Uh, I would say let's go with Clover so we get more explosions. This is a, a lion. It's not called a lion. It's called a... Flying lion. Lion head? Lion spin? Spinny lion? <laughs> I think it's lion head, but... Could have had a better name. That's a lot more unique than a thing that exists in reality, you know? Maybe when the bestiarity comes along, insta-kill the lion head. Nope, we draw the thing last moment. What we get? Le two legendaries, most likely. What? Hey! Where's my super garlic? What is this? Where's my super garlic? I do not accept the fact that we drew two. <laughs> we drew two. Uh, we drew an epic and double legendary and a double, like triple item, and we did not get the legendary I cared about. Boo. <laughs> Boo. So I wanted to talk about the channel for a moment before I continue just saying that we move around the stuff. Uh, lately I'm trying to branch off to other games. I mean indie games. I'm not sure if I should do this. Most, most of them are not going very well. And uh, honestly, 
I think I'm more of a series guys, so I I think I will try to find something new to play and uh, start the second series or something because right now like the main series is inscription, secondary series is this one, and I want to find a, a, a third or a second. I want to find a secondary second a second secondary series <laughs> is what I want to find because yeah. I don't know. Right now I'm like jumping all over the place and I think that's... I think I'm making a mistake. I think I should not do that. I think I should start to f start um, searching for a game that resonates with people and then have like a secondary game. Although a lot of game suggestions have been, you know, the, the classics like Slay the Spire and Hades and I don't know what else. You know, the super classics and uh, Dead Cells. But um, honestly, I want to find something for my own, like something that resonates with me. And uh, to be completely honest, the plan was that that game is going to be either, what is it called, either Peglin or Snake RX. But the thing is that those games, for some reason, you know, take a year to patch, especially Snake RX. Like, uh, I think Peglin is around the corner. So I was waiting for those and trying to jump around with different games, but... I think I'm, like, doing career suicide right now with that whole thing happening. Like, with me jumping around the games. By the way, look at these pedals all around. How fun are these? So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to uh, share my thoughts about what I'm doing right now. Honestly. Yeah, th that, that was the main reason of why I said all that. Let's go with Super Garlic, please. Thank you. Now with the Super Garlic... I theoretically start, should start healing more, and also with a new Pumarola, I should also start healing more. Let's try to level up the... Try to level up both of the Pichonas. Man, these are the worst enemies. I'm really excited about the next ones that are be definitely better. Hopefully better, definitely better. We will see. We will see. Still healing up, still continuing. So, uh, and now I want to loop this around with the secondary series, as I said. I'm playing Lost Ark, <laughs> like half the planet, I guess. And I was thinking maybe, maybe I, maybe, and right now I'm playing with my friends on my own, etc, etc. You know, I'm just playing the game as a game, not doing any content on it, although I could, and maybe I should. But right now I'm just playing it on my own with my, with, with friends, right? And I thought, like, a friend brought this up, and I also think I, not, now that he thought, brought it up, I realized this. Maybe, maybe if I create an alt, like, you know, a secondary character that I want to level up, maybe then I could live stream that. Does anybody care about that? Like, do people care about Lost Ark live streams from a random YouTuber? Because as far as I know, this is an indie channel and Lost Ark has nothing to do with this whole thing. But, I mean, I'm not live streaming either. So, the reason I'm not live streaming, by the way, is because most of the game that I, I play are, in my opinion, not really for live streaming. Like, Inscription, in my mind, is not really for live streaming. This thing is not really for live streaming. I mean, maybe it is, but I, I don't think so. And uh, other indie games that I play once in a while, in my opinion, also not really for live streaming. I really prefer it when I can play the game on my own time, speak whenever I want, do whatever I want, explain actually, because when I live stream, I'm really looking into chat a lot. And explaining th it goes like out the window very often. I really like to be an exploratory channel other than anything. While if I play, for example, Lost Ark and just run through the... Um, yeah, it's like it's it's a double double edged sword. On the one hand, I can live stream Lost Ark and just you know talk with the people and whatever. On the other hand, it's literally going to be me talking with people while running through quests. So I'm not sure if it's going to be the most exciting thing in this. Uh, you know, uh, let's go with axes. Now that they came along, might as well go for them. The new axes. Oh, look at them, I'm throwing like a million axes out. And a million bombs and a million everything. Let's try to level up the axes now so that we get the legendary axe. Continue running around, zigzagging. So yeah, as I said, on the one hand, it's going to be mostly a uh, talk with the people stream. And uh, you know it's going to be I'm running around with not that much thought. As you don't really need to think about what you're doing when you're playing Lost Ark. You just go through the motions. Just, you know, destroy everything in front of you. It's as if you're playing this thing. Whatever you find in front of you, just destroy it and just move on. And just 
Talk to the people for the quests, pick up the quests, pick up the loot, next fight, next dungeon, next fight, next dungeon, the same, the same, the same. And uh, that, that opens up the path for, you know, a chat stream pretty much, while also I'm, you know, leveling up my ult. But on the other hand, I'm not sure if that is exciting or if anybody wants to see it, right? Uh, I'm not sure if people really... What is it called? If people want to see this, because in my mind... You know, I'm not some Osmogold, I'm not some awesome streamer that is very, I guess, super excited and fun and ham and like exploding and uh, reactionary and I don't know, you know, all, all these things. Uh, by the way, I'm watching those type of streamers, that's what I mean. You know, I I'm not like my <laughs> idols of streaming, but I'm mostly explanatory and talkative. I can open discussions about anything. That's the only thing I'm good at. Like opening discussions and talking about things, expressing opinions and statements. That's something I'm good at. <laughs> and I can do that for days upon days. I should have waited a bit for... By the way, do you see all these explosions? Why are they all behind us? This. Why did this not explode in front of us? Continue. So yeah, that's my thought process behind that. And honestly, like honestly, honestly speaking... My problem with people not watching is not really the fact that people are not watching. Like, that is not a problem. I can, like, do a live stream, only 3D people or maybe 10 people are there. We're all together. We're having a fun, great time. We're talking, we're discussing, whatever. That's, like, that's okay with me. The main problem I have with live streaming something that people don't care about is that I don't want the algorithm to butcher the channel for no reason, right? I don't want to do... Uh, two or three live streams, all of them get 10 people, and then YouTube's like, yo, seems like nobody's watching you, so I'm not gonna suggest you to anybody. And it might sound, um, what is it called? It might sound very, um, how is this called? Very, I guess, it might sound bad. You know, it might, so it might sound bad that I don't want to have a few views because then the YouTube algorithm, etc, etc. But the thing is that this right now is my job. Like, this is my life. And uh, I'm really you. I'm really trying to avoid the algorithm butchering the channel. And then, you know, my whole quote-unquote attempted career goes, right the, goes down the drain. So, yeah, that's that's my main reason here. Because, you know, if this was, like, some kind of magical channel that I started 10 years ago and it had, like, 1 million subscribers or whatever, then I would be like, yeah, who cares? I'm gonna play whatever I want. I mean, at the end of the day, I just go back to my old content and boom, I get a million views, no matter if I'm good or not. Uh, but uh, that's not how this goes. <laughs> right now, we are... I am supposed to be... I mean, not supposed to be. I am trying to be a channel that knows what it's doing and is explanatory. And, um, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I'm trying to attempt, and Lost Ark is not really something I can do that with. I mean, I can be explanatory. Wait a minute. I could do a live stream with me leveling up an alt, and you guys could, you know, tag along, and uh, I can explain everything and anything that's happening. Mm, maybe I could do something like that. And then we could clip the two... Then we could clip things. I think that's what other Lost Ark YouTubers also do, right? They play the game normally, and then at some point within the run, they just stop, and they're like, okay, time to explain how that goes. And then they start explaining how a mechanic works, and then they upload it as a guide or tutorial on YouTube. I mean, most of the most of the guides in Lost Ark I found are actually just streamers that literally just, <laughs> you know, mid-run start explaining things. Anyway, enough with that whole thing. Enough with this whole discussion about Lost Ark and stuff. This run is going insanely well. I, I was expecting this to be a lot harder because of Curse, but uh, no, not really. I'm level 88 at the 18 minute mark, so it feels like every single high score, whatever they had, <laughs> with uh, max levels and max money gain and etc, etc, yeah, they are all getting binned pretty much. Not from me, not from me, not from me. I mean, in general, right? I'm pretty sure some people got like level 140, level 160, or level 180 maybe, you know, there are high scores on the Discord of this game. But now that we get 50% more opponents, more quantity and more often spawn, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of those records are down the drain now. As um, <laughs> me not even trying to min-max, and I'm already most likely gonna break some record here. If I somehow get to level 200, then I am definitely have broken some records. I'm not sure we're gonna get 200 XP, uh, 200 levels. I don't see it happening. We already have cut down. Actually, you know what? 
uh, for the sole reason that I don't have the XP gain, max level is not happening. Like, uh, 200 levels is not happening for sure. J just because I don't have XP gain. That alone is enough for me to not be in any high score level or whatever. Uh, what should I throw away if I had the choice? If I had the choice, I would throw away the luck. Honestly, I would throw away luck. And also, I wouldn't go with this character. <laughs> I would go with the cooldown character, I think. Throw away the luck, throw away this grenade, get better, get one more better weapon instead of the bomb. Although we will see at the end if the bomb is good. Let me let me stay here in the middle and see how exactly this goes. Oh man, that's nice. It's going pretty well, pretty well. Obviously, walking is faster. Uh, yeah, walking is faster. When I say it's faster, I mean it gives us more XP. I'm trying to lose life on purpose here. Nice, we got an elite here. This is the perfect chance to lose life on purpose. Imagine we lose now. Imagine this uh, one-shotting us or something. Can I can I get to this guy? He's off screen. Are you kidding me? I like how he's wearing his little hat. And pop my The moment he popped my laurel, he died. And now I don't think I will lose the laurel again. Oh, no. Maybe I will if I just run to the right all the time without doing anything else. Come on. Make us lose life. Come on. Come on. Yep. We don't have laurel. Yeah, nice. We lose life. Let's go. You know, with, uh, with us losing... Nah. Enemies die in one shot again. I guess laurel buffed up. <laughs> I guess laurel buffed up. Maybe no, I'm at blue level, 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 so theoretically, theoretically we should be able to do this. Lose some life here. In case you don't know, I have explained this like a million times for the old viewers, but for the new viewers, <laughs> uh, super garlic powers up the more health you heal. So I have to lose health to heal health to make um, garlic more powerful permanently. By the way, I mean for the rest of the run, not permanent permanently. We're running all this to the right. Let's go a bit higher up so I get a bit more coverage on XP pickup range. I mean, I'm losing from below now, but still, I'm gaining from above. And we even go through the piano. Let's continue running to the right. We're losing... Nah, we're losing so much XP here just to power up the... Um, I think this was not a good idea. Like, in, in general, we lost a lot of XP just because I tried to pop the laurels. And I don't see us popping the laurels, honestly. We will get some opponents like the witches that will be able to survive some hits. I know these these are, by the way, the lion heads that you need to kill 5,000 of. As you see, you get so many of them. I mean, from the moment this wave started, I think we definitely hit like 5,000. Did we? I'm not sure. Forget that. I think... I like how my... my, my the, words, the, use, the words I use are completely un unmixable. They, they, they cannot get combined. Like... I think we definitely, as if that, I, I don't think you can say that, <laughs> it's, it's, you're using words that do not fit together, like, uh, thinking something and something being definite cannot really go together. I think we definitely killed 5,000. Does make sense. It's either I think we killed 5,000 or we definitely killed 5,000. It's not, <laughs> I think we definitely. I think we guarantee... I mean, you can say I think we guarantee a win here. <laughs> I mean, I think we definitely win here. Maybe they are mixable. I don't even know. By the way, the witches aren't even able to touch us either. Maybe some are, but as always, garlic is OP. But we will pay with this later. I'm not sure if the Pichon is, like, if, if Vandalier is carrying us here or if the new bombs are carrying us here because I'm looking behind us and there are infinite bombs dropping everywhere all over the place. Did they fix the left side not having opponents? Does the left side now have opponents? Or does the right side have even more? Oh, we found another item. It's money, money, money. Oh, easiest guess of my life. It's, it was not a guess, though. It was a prediction. <laughs> Doesn't this feel like having less? Let's go left again. Let's see what feels what. I'm not sure. Feels almost the same to me. Did they fix it? 
I mean, I didn't read in the co I didn't read in the patch notes that they fixed this. Fixed the bug that made opponents more opponents appear on the right side than the left side in the library map. Something like that is what should have been written. By the way, we still have not found enemies that really survive everything. Whoop. Oh, I'm pretty sure nobody is watching what I'm doing right now. I just realized something. I'm pretty sure, uh, as far as I know, actually, not pretty sure, as far as I know, um, my recording is not really recording everything because people have told me I need to improve the bitrate. I have seen other, I have seen some other YouTubers play this, like Alien Shrock, I, Alien, Sh I, I don't know how exactly to pronounce that name. Um, and uh, he does not seem to have the same problem as I do. So, I'm not sure exactly how I could fix this. I'm not sure if it's... I have been told that it has to do with when I'm recording it. I have to record in a better bitrate. But then again, YouTube then does its own processing. So, even if I don't if I do not do this correctly, YouTube might still make everything hazy. Right now, you should see everything hazy, by the way. Because I haven't changed anything from, uh, from when I'm saying this up to the point where I upload this. But, uh, yeah, maybe I have to... Pass it through a secondary... I don't know how what exactly has to happen. I know what I have been told. And what I have been told is that I have to increase the bitrate. Which, uh, if... The, the problem is that if I increase the bitrate... And that tanks... First of all, do you see that we're lagging? Yeah, as I said. If I increase the bitrate and that makes the video huge... Then I will have a problem because I have a very slow internet connection over here. Oh man, we're taking all of the damage. I have a very slow internet connection over here. And um, right now, this video, for example, this specific video that you're watching right now should take me one and a half hour to upload. So if I, for example, double or triple the bitrate and that makes the video double or triple in size, then uh, I, I can't really upload something for five hours, honestly speaking. Because I have seen that when something takes a lot of hours to upload, for example, Warm Snow took a lot of hours to upload. Uh, it took about two or three hours every video. Uh, when that happens, then YouTube also takes a lot of time to pro process it. I don't know why that is. I guess more megabytes, more gigabytes uh, equals more processing speed. But the problem is that at some point there is like a cutoff and then YouTube just never processes it. Or it takes one or two days to process it. And then sometimes, sometimes it actually never processes it, so... It has been some, you know, I'm uploading a video, it takes three hours to upload, then I go to sleep, um, wake up next day and I see still processing a high definition version. And then, you know, instead of uploading this video at 8 p.m., I upload this at, I don't know, the next day. <laughs> and uh, I definitely don't want to do that. It's mixing my whole schedule up. It's going, but safe. don't you pre-record this days and days before? Obviously not. Because this is literally on day launch patch. And a lot of my games, I, I, I don't pre-record a lot of games. I do pre-record once in a while. But most of the time I don't pre-record. The reason is because uh, patches. Because the game I play have patches. Like once in a while I do pre-record like some inscription games. Or, once, or, or you know a random game that I haven't played ever. I just record it and then upload it when the right side to. But otherwise like things like these. I never pre-record those. By the way, we're still one-shotting everything. Uh, can I run into these to get more health? Get damage? I'm getting damage here on purpose. Oh, come on, the moment Laurel popped, that was the moment we did not get damage anymore. You know what, forget it. Do I, do I really need to level up my super garlic? I mean, if the question is do I really need to, then I guess the answer is no. By the way, at the 30 minute mark, I will try to not move. Oh, also, by the way, number two, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not getting 200 levels. I don't know what I was dreaming of. I like how the backline is everything is dead. If I move to the left, is everything dead on the right side too? I'm not sure there is. Do you feel like the game is lagging? It's lagging, but it's it's la it lags as if, as if we get slowed down or something. As if we got hit by a slow spell. As if we're tracking into mud. Into mud? Trekking into mud? Trekking in mud? I think it's trekking in mud. Let's continue running around. Up, let's run around. Okay, we're in the middle of everybody, so we're smackroning him with Van Ladier. Van, what? Van, Van de Leer. Whoa, ooh, look at all this coming close to us. Everything is red. 
I thought <laughs> I thought we picked up the chest for some reason. For some reason I thought the level up was a chest. These are still beatable. We're still fighting things that we can actually attack. Wait a minute, I think we're too close to opponents. Man, we have Vandelier doing insane damage. Can I can I stay in the middle? Oh yeah, we're completely damage immune. Yeah, not, nothing is coming even remotely close to us. And the bombs, for some reason, get flung to the left side more than the right side. If I look to the left, will they get... Why do all the bombs explode on the left side? Like, what is this? Why is this happening? Why is the right side so safe? Pick up the XP, everything dropped. Nope. More XP. More XP, more money. Man, this curse was a very nice addition. The life, the 50% more life on opponents is literally irrelevant. Look at this, they're trying to come close. Look at this, it's the elite fight. They're not even remote. Let's, let's stay here in the middle. They can't do anything to us. I don't know what exactly is with the RNG of the bombs, but all of them explode at the bottom left corner. And the bottom top left, maybe. But the left side in general. I don't know why the bombs do not explode on the right side. I don't get it. I really don't. Try to move a bit more just to get some more XP. I don't think it matters. I mean, what did carry us? I think the Vandalier carried us. I think the Vandalier st stole the, the show again. I think it's the best item in the game, and it's by far the the most broken one, and also the one that affects all your runs the most. Because the moment you get Vandalier, it, it just destroys everything around you. You you are in no danger whatsoever. By the way, I'm desynced by Vandalier. Let's let's sync with Vandalier up. We'll try to make it shoot into the masses while I'm running around. And we won and we die. Oh, we still have Laurel to protect us. Laurel protect. And we dead. And now we go with the revive, as I do have one for revive for my from my you know meta progression. And now we're toast. Nice. Let's go. Two new unlocks. I got 100 level with Yata, so Kavales and Lama also is unlocked. Very nice. So we got one more reroll and also one new character. Nice. High the achievements. Let's see with numbers here. Death Spiral 7.5k. Nice. Vandalier 6k. Ooh, Death Spiral was more powerful than Vandalier. Okay. Cherry Bomb 1.7k on its own. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's a pretty decent item. It's a pretty decent item. I guess it's with the leagues with, with uh, Rune Tracer. Although... Whenever I see like things like this having 1.7k, I, I can just imagine the legendary being the most broken thing in the universe. The sword obviously did 5k too, so we got three decent, very powerful items carrying us, and then we got the soul leader and the chair bomb to uh, top off, you know, whatever they can. Top off the build, and yeah, let's go with the power up. I unlocked the second reroll, 60,000, that's nothing for us. Uh, I mean, we have to power up rule here, and I'm will go with uh, let's let's start this. This expense, this is also extremely expensive, by the way. Yeah, that should be the first one you go. So you go this one, and then you go revival, 15k, and we go rerolls, then you go this thing, then you go this. I think then you go this. I'm not exactly sure what's more expensive, honestly. This is also very expensive in a moment. Then you just go with whatever has a bunch of levels. And then you should most likely have the money for everything else. Easy. And now I have everything again. And uh, also 8,000 sitting in the bank. <laughs> as simple as that. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got. We got this thing. We got the new character. We're going to read him in a moment. And we're missing with the new character going 30 minute run for this new Skolomaniac. We're obviously going to try to go for that tomorrow. And uh, am I missing anything else? What else did we unlock? We unlocked the second reroll here with the Yata 100 level. Okay, we, we got this for the Curses run and the and the second reroll, this one with the Yata collection. This is most likely this uh, Schoolomatic that I haven't unlocked yet. Like this thing. Schoolomaniac. Survive 3 Demons with Lama. I guess this is this. This is a passive item, by the way, because as you see, it's uh, in between Tiragisu and Stone Mask, so this is guaranteed a passive item. Let's see the new character. Oh, I, I'm la I laugh every time with these costs. Gains 5 Might, Movement Speed, and Curse. And Curse. 
Every level, every 10 levels, maximum plus 20% damage, 20% movement speed, and 20% um, more opponent spawn. Oh, this is nice. And he starts with an axe. I thought somebody already starts with an axe. I guess I was wrong. Nice. I, I guess it's the Red Death. But, uh, what? A Blasphemous Mockery. Okay. So, this is... This character might be good. Although, this guy gets 10 more damage every 10 levels, max 50. Was this always max 50? Was this always max 50? I thought I thought this was like max... Wasn't this 5% and max 15? Or 10% and max 30? This guy is insane. 50% damage is really good. Yeah. So... I thought this guy is also insane, by the way, with the cooldowns. So he gains 20% might and movement speed. So that means that... Theoretically speaking, he makes the game... He or she, by the way, uh, makes the game harder by the same amount you gain movement speed and might. So opponents get 20% movement speed at max level, and you get 20% movement speed. Opponents get 20% health, and you gain 20% might. And then opponents get 20% more quantity and quality, and you get, you know, the the scythe. <laughs> and uh, kill him, and uh, pick up a bunch of XP. So we're most likely gonna run Llama tomorrow, and uh, see, uh, try to unlock this thing, the Skull Maniac. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed, drop a like, let's the channel, you know, <laughs> the thing I mentioned in the video in the beginning, and the algorithm too. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I really enjoyed the new character, the Cherry Bombs, pretty decent. Uh, I mean, animation-wise, they were fancy. I like fancy stuff. And uh, honestly speaking, they also did damage, so in general, a really good item. And also the, the character, oh, by the way, in case I didn't read it, uh, as I said here, Yata Cavallo, literally the same ability with Multashio. That's why they said half a new character, as they just gave him only a weapon and not also a passive. <laughs> That's the reason why that happened. And um, yeah, I enjoyed the new character. I mean, it didn't have passives, but the bomb was fun and also powerful and useful. In the beginning, it's pretty mech. And also needing to pick up luck to have more explosions happen. Not really that good, because you... I mean, luck is not something insane. But uh, otherwise, character is good. So yeah, there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> thanks for watching, and see you guys around.